Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically export responsive HTML banner ads from Figma using the Bannerify plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go up to the resources icon at the top of your Figma file, click on that and then search for Bannerify. So that's B-A-N-N-E-R-I-F-Y. And under the plugins tab, you'll see Bannerify pop up. If you go ahead and click on that icon, uh, you'll get this result here. And to run the plugin, all you need to do is either click on the run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on the more options icon here and clicking save Figma plugin. And it'll just save it to your Figma plugins list for easy access later. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm gonna right click on my canvas. I'm gonna go down to plugins. I'm gonna go down to save plugins. Then I'm just gonna to go to Bannerify and click on that. And that's just gonna run the plugin we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it basically treats any frames on your current page as banners. So I've got a bunch of different frames here, at all different sizes. And in each of those frames, I've just got some text layers and image layers that I'm using as the banner elements. So I'm just gonna go ahead and load uh, all of those in. So I'm just gonna load all the banners and that's just gonna load them all into the timeline in the Bannerify plugin. So I've already got some animations applied to these. So you can see here, it's just some basic fade and slide animations. I'm not gonna go into detail about how to animate the banners and design them. Uh, there's a couple of other video tutorials on our YouTube channel. If you wanna check out the Bannerify playlist, that's a good place to start. Uh, but for today, I'm just gonna assume that you've already got your banners set up in Bannerify, uh, animated and designed the way that you want. And what you wanna be doing is just exporting them out to a responsive HTML banner format. Uh, so we're gonna do that now. So I'm just gonna start by clicking on the export to HTML button in the plugin. So I'm gonna click on export HTML. And then down here in the code output settings, we just wanna change this drop down here from HTML, CSS, uh, which is kind of the non-platform specific options at the top here. And then if we go down to the platforms category, uh, if you scroll down and get to the letter R, you'll see responsive display ad pop up as the format. So we wanna click on this responsive display ad format. We're gonna click on that. And that's just gonna allow us to add a click tag if we wanna do that. So uh, assuming we're gonna be uploading this to Google Ads or a Google Ad uh, product, there's a few of them, uh, you can add your own click tag. So it'll add the click tag variable uh, with the URL that you wanna add, or you can just leave that blank and you can set that after you've uploaded the responsive display ad as well. Uh, the other thing we can do is include a zip file inside of the zip. So this is gonna allow us to have uh, the files automatically zipped up when we export them. So you can export that zip file straight up to your Google Ads platform. Uh, and then the other option we have here is just to either minify or unminify the code. So minified will basically just put all of the HTML, CSS and JavaScript into one HTML file. If you uncheck that, it'll give you a separate CSS and JavaScript file uh, to uh, export into your package as well. So I'm just gonna leave that as minified and then I'm just gonna leave all the other options uh, as is. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and click on export banners. This is gonna generate all the HTML, CSS and JavaScript for our responsive banner automatically. And then it's just gonna export all of the images as well. So once it's done that, we'll get this confirmation screen, which is gonna tell us that our banners are ready to download. So I'm gonna click on download your zip file. I'm just gonna save that to my desktop and unzip the file. And I'll show you what's inside of that folder. So inside the unzipped folder, We've got a few different things. We've got our backups folder because we've got some backup JPEGs. So we've got all the backup JPEGs in there. You've got your backups file and then you've got the zip folder, which is the zip option that we selected. So this is basically a zip file that automatically zips up the contents of this folder here. So this zip file contains this index.html file and this images folder. And inside of those are your actual banners. So this other index file here, uh, that's actually just the preview file of your banners. So if we drag that into the browser, uh, you can see here that this is the preview that's loading up the banners. But the interesting thing is that all of these banners are the same file. So if we jump into this folder here, uh, we can see here that this index.html file is actually what's being linked to on this page. So this HTML file is being linked to in all of these different iframes uh, on this page. So if we were to open up this file here, you would basically see nothing because the media queries 
uh, for that page are not actually visible. Uh, so for example, if we were to open up this file in a code editor, so if I just drag and drop the index file into here, uh, you'll be able to see that there's a bunch of media queries. So these media queries are essentially acting as the way to trigger the responsive banners. So for example, uh, certain banners will only show up if certain viewport sizes are being met. So for example, 600 by 300, uh, 280 by 336. So these banners uh, will only render those certain sizes when the viewport is the correct size. So we can see here, because all these viewports, all these iframes are being rendered at the exact size of the banner, that's what's allowing them to be swapped out in real time as a responsive banner uh, using one file. So that's what that looks like when you actually open up the code. And so that's why the file here will appear to be empty, uh, but actually is not rendering because it's not at the right size. So when you upload the banners uh, and they get rendered in the correct size, uh, the responsive code will kick in and automatically pick up on which banner to display based on the size of the viewport. Okay, so that's basically what that looks like. Uh, this is the responsive banner. As I said, it's all coming from this one index file and all of our images are in here and it's just gonna display whichever banner is the correct one based on the current viewport size this is opposed to needing a bunch of different banners. So for example, if we would export this normally, I'll just do one really quick example of this. If we export for Google ads and export those banners, this is basically just going to export all of the same banners, but it's going to export them as separate files. So we'll see what that looks like in a second. I'll just quickly download this to my desktop and show you the difference. So if we open up this folder, you can see here that this is our responsive one. And then if we compare that to uh, the other one that we just downloaded, so I'll just compare those two. So in, in the responsive one, we've just got one file. We've got one index file, one banner. And in the one we just exported through Google ads, you can see that every banner has its own uh, HTML file. And so it, it looks the same when you preview it. So these are all uh, gonna look exactly the same but they're all being pointed to individual banners. So they're being pointed to each of these individual banners. So instead of uploading 12 banners or 11 banners in this case individually, you can basically just upload one and be done with it. So that's the advantage of using responsive banners in certain cases. So I hope that's been helpful. If you've been wondering how to export responsive banners from Bannerify, uh, this is gonna be the easiest way to do it. You just click on the code output settings change it to responsive display ad and you'll basically be good to go. You just click on the export banners button and you'll have those responsive HTML banners uh, in a few seconds. So yeah, we'll leave it there for today. I just wanted to go through this new option with you if you've been wondering how to export responsive HTML banners from Figma. This is gonna be the quickest way to do it using the Bannerify plugin. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.